This video instructs you on how to administer the contrast sensitivity screening using the ODK Data Collection app and the Peak Contrast Sensitivity app. Let's get started. The contrast sensitivity screening will be performed once on each eye and once using both eyes. If you need guidance with conducting the contrast sensitivity screening, follow the instructions in the ODK manual. The contrast sensitivity screening should immediately follow the visual acuity screening and is launched from the same ODK application on the smartphone. When you complete the visual acuity screening, you will reach the page that says Contrast Sensitivity Screening. You will need to stand one meter from the participant during the contrast sensitivity screening. Have the participant pick up the end of the study string and hold the end of the string near their eyes. Take the other end of the string and walk until you are at the knot in the middle of the string. When the string is fully stretched out and at eye level with the participant, you will be one meter apart. Briefly explain the contrast sensitivity screening to the participant. You can say something like, we will now assess how well you can differentiate dark letters against a light background. You can sit for this screening. We will screen your right eye, left eye, and both eyes together. Like the last screening, you will see the letter E on the screen and this letter will rotate. Each time the E changes direction, point in the direction that the E is facing. The E will get lighter and harder to see. If you cannot tell which direction the E is facing, pause for a few seconds to let your eyes adjust to the dimmer contrast. If you still cannot see, tell me that you cannot see the E, and I will skip to the next E. When you are ready to begin the screening, Select the Launch button to start the contrast sensitivity screening. If there is too much light in the room, a message will pop up that says, there is too much ambient light. Please continue this test somewhere darker. You can turn off or adjust an overhead light if needed. Adjust your positioning or the lighting in the room so that the room is not too bright and press OK. At this point, you should confirm that you see a large letter E on the phone. You are ready to begin the contrast sensitivity screening with the participant. Start by screening their right eye. Ask the participant to cover their left eye with the black occluder, making sure that they are looking through the large circle with their right eye. Using both hands, hold the phone vertically in front of you at the participant's approximate eye level. Instruct the participant to point which direction the E is facing. Swipe the screen in the direction that the participant indicates, regardless of what direction the E is facing. You will hear a noise and feel a vibration from the phone as feedback that the response was registered. The E has now switched to another direction and changed contrast. Ask the participant again what direction the E is facing and swipe the phone screen according to their response. Continue prompting the participant and swiping the phone screen with their response until you hear the final noise and feel the vibration from the phone. This indicates that you have completed the screening for the right eye. Sometimes the participant cannot make out which direction the E is facing. If the participant does not know the direction, you should skip that E by shaking the phone. You will hear this noise when you have successfully skipped that E. When you are showing the participant the next E, prompt them to try again to tell you which direction it is facing. If they still cannot see which direction it is facing, shake the phone again to skip to the next direction. You may have to skip multiple E's before the participant is able to see the E well enough to tell you which direction it is facing. Even if the participant has to skip some letters, the exam will continue until it has calculated a score for the participant and you hear the final noise. When you have completed the exam, look at the phone and confirm that you see the right eye score recorded on the ODK page. 
This will appear as a number between 0.00 and 2.10 after the words right eye result. Then press next in the bottom right corner to move on to the left eye. Confirm that the page says left eye, contrast sensitivity at the top and press launch to begin the next screening. Instruct the participant to now cover their right eye with the occluder so they are only using their left eye to see through the large hole. Hold the phone at the participant's eye level and repeat the same steps to conduct the screening with the left eye. After you have completed the screening with the left eye and confirmed that you see the left eye score on the ODK form, Press Next again to conduct the screening with both eyes. The participant will not need the occluder for this screening. Again, confirm that the page says Binocular Contrast Sensitivity at the top and press Launch to begin the screening. After completing the screening with both eyes, confirm that you see the score on the ODK form and press Next. The last page has a free response notes field. Please type in any notes about the screening that the researchers may need to know. For example, you might write a note here if a participant was unable to complete an exam for one of their eyes or if they forgot to cover one eye. You do not have to write any notes if the exam went as intended. Press Next when you are finished with any notes. The next page is titled Results for Participant and instructs you which result to select on the results card. Check the box next to the appropriate result on the participant's result card. Show the participant the results card and read the result to the participant. Hand the participant the white UNC questionnaire envelope. Tell the participant that the envelope contains multiple pages, including more information about their eye screening results, a HIPAA authorization form, and a questionnaire for them to complete. Pull out the first page of the questionnaire titled WHIVIP Study Questionnaire. Affix one blood draw label to the top right corner of the questionnaire making sure not to cover the dashed lines along the edge. Show the participant the questionnaire and tell them after you leave they should fill it out and mail the questionnaire packet and white HIPAA form using the large white envelope. Also tell them the blue HIPAA form copy and the pink interpreting your distance vision screening results papers are theirs to keep. On the last page of the ODK app, Press Save Form and Exit. You will now see the number of completed forms in parentheses under Edit Save Form and Send Finalized Form. When you connect your phone to Wi-Fi, the finalized forms will send automatically. This is described in more detail in the phone training video and ODK manual. You have completed the vision screening portion of the Long Life Study Visit.